man who has traveled thousands of miles seeking asylum is sharing his story. We first told you last night about the Buffalo Refugee Shelter in urgent need of money and food after seeing a 250% influx in refugees. Tonight, one of the asylum seekers now in Buffalo is speaking about the crisis and his journey to America. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter. It's difficult to say that if I had to do it again, yeah, if I would do it. Junior is thinking back to the long journey he and his wife were forced to make after staying in the Democratic Republic of Congo was no longer an option. Everyone knows that date of February 25th, 2018. February 25th was a day filled with protests demanding the resignation of President Joseph Kabila. Junior was the leader in one of those political parties. I was arrested yeah, to give some more precision. So uh, there were policemen who helped me actually to get out of the prison. After his escape, the very next day, he says he took his wife and traveled by boat to Ecuador, walked to Colombia before spending nine days getting through a large forest. The most difficult part was in the forest because there were mountains and we also crossed rivers. So we were spending all the night outside. Sometimes it was raining. After walking a month through Panama, Junior says they landed in Nicaragua, to Honduras, to Guatemala, Mexico, and then finally the U.S. He left DRC February 26, 2018, and arrived in Buffalo more than one year later, just last week. It, it, it was very difficult. My wife was uh, afraid. She was really afraid. But I was the one trying to give her courage. Junior was a commercial vendor and a pastor. He relied on his faith to get his family here. It's my belief in God that helped me. But what he says Americans don't understand is that he's not here to, quote, take advantage of our resources. Because the reason that pushes us to come here is because we do have problems. It's not just because America is the paradise. No, but it's because we are facing many problems back home. That's why we came here. He says now that he and his wife are here, they're not focusing on the journey, but rather the road ahead. Since they are here, like, he cannot even think about the past. Yeah, he just wants to move on the future. Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.